Good morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, June 8th. Looking at the impact map, they are only wet once. An upper level low pressure system bring cooler temperatures, scattered showers, higher humidity to most areas, uh, maybe skirting the extreme south and southeastern portions of the Great Basin. Uh, there will be drier humidity there, probably no showers, but even down there, humidity as we go towards the end of the week will be coming up a few percent and definitely wetting rains uh, further north. Interesting note, the wildfires across uh, eastern Canada and the smoke you can see here in the enhanced air is affecting much of the northeast here. So we're getting a welcome respite here. Uh, still some smoke and haze in some spots across northern Nevada, but otherwise not nearly as bad as it could be out here. Another day of a quite amount, good amount of light to locally moderate precipitation. We see the lighter to darker blue shades. You can see the lightning out here. All the lightning was wet or, or on fuels that are pretty green. That's why we have no starts, nothing much going on. Over the past seven days, uh, we had some decent precipitation, mainly north of the I-80 corridor, but scattered lighter precipitation further south. You can see how dry the Pacific Northwest has been. Also how dry the southern third of Nevada has been and also the Arizona Strip. If we go to the last, uh, comparing the last seven days here on the left, the last 14 days on the right, you can see it's that southern third to southern half of Nevada and also parts of far southern Utah and the Arizona Strip that have had little, if any, precipitation. That's where things are really drying out. Now we are looking at some experimental products here. This is called the Severe Fire Danger Mapping System. What it does is it combines both ERC and the burning index to give us an idea of where uh, fire danger might be uh, low, moderate, high, or very high. You can see some enhanced areas here. And again, it's made up of two components. First one is the ERC and uh, things uh, Fairly moderate in most areas, maybe uh, well low in green, moderate here in this lighter green. Um, the burning index does show some enhanced areas across uh, Utah, and we combine both. Uh, this is what it gives us. We'll be trying to incorporate this into our product suite. Um, here is that low pressure area in the satellite imagery, and the enhanced area in clouds, and this pull of moisture coming in around is what's giving us our instability and our showers. We're also watching an unseasonably strong cold front pushing in uh, from the west that will combine with that low. So here it is here. There's that cold front with the enhanced clouds and moisture off the coast. Here's the low pressure system producing afternoon instability showers. You can see on our seven day we have uh, mostly in the green. I have some areas in the yellow in our far southern areas. No real uh, critical areas as of yet. You can see the wind still um, Moderately gusty, I would say 15 to 25 miles per hour. We see the green to orange shades and the humidity in eastern um, Utah is near 10%, so quite dry there. But coming up, even down in Vegas, 16% humidity is quite high for this time of year. Otherwise, it's uh, quite a bit higher. Um, Friday, looking at um, more clouds enhanced through here. We see the areas in the green. Um, and we don't see this tannish shade of very dry air mass uh, that's usually when we have the clear blue skies all day. Uh, that's well down to the south. Some more scattered showers. You see the areas in the green. We'll be watching this low. Again, no big changes on the seven day, but definitely drying out critically further south in Arizona where they have those low humidities. But humidity is coming up here everywhere. Uh, mid teens in the south, 20s, 30s, and 40s further north. No significant winds. Now on Saturday, this low pressure system absorbs that cold front. We get enhanced clouds and showers, especially across western Nevada, lingering areas up in Idaho. Um, humidity levels well above normal in most areas. Um, again, no significant winds. Three-day precipitation, uh, light to locally moderate rains here, especially across uh, central northern Nevada and the parts of Idaho. It's lighter amounts across Utah. And again, bone dry in the far south where grasses have pretty much cured. But in those areas, this low pressure area tracking south will bring that cloud and moisture shield there with higher humidity, maybe some scattered showers. And again, by Saturday, this area in green meets cloudy overcast skies across just about the entire Great Basin with scattered showers. And uh, that pattern starts to break up on Tuesday, but still a uh, really cool pattern. And this is Wednesday. We finally start drying out. We'll start warming up as well. 
we'll be watching this new low pressure system and seeing what it does if it pulls up some moisture from the south. The uh, seven day precipitation total, again, uh, areas in eastern Utah and far south really escaping the brunt of it. But the eight to 14 day continues to show cooler than normal temperatures and above normal precipitation chances as we uh, uh, close out the second week of June and going into the third week of June. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.